Hello, this is your cause for thought. In the next few sessions, I want to try and look at the parable of the Good Samaritan. I therefore need to lay a bit of a foundation for what I'm going to say. There are a number of points we need to look at. Let's ask ourselves, do most Christians go to church to render their service to God on a Sunday morning? Or are they really seeking for a more comfortable life? To be serious, that seems to be the promise of the modern church in the Western world. Certainly, we hear, come to Jesus and have a good life. But could you really preach that, shall we say, to someone on the Titanic, the night before it sunk? Come to Jesus, have a good life. Excuse me, 24 hours later, a thousand, three hundred, a hundred of them will be dead. You couldn't turn around and say they had a good life, could you? Oh yes, well, we all believe in several truths. Maybe we believe in the virgin birth and, and the resurrection. But, quite frankly, to be serious, it would appear that a lot, awful lot of people are actually taking out fire insurance. They're going to church not because they love the Lord but because they don't want to go to hell. And so we need to know really what is the gospel. Let's turn to the parable of the Good Samaritan. We read that a lawyer comes to Jesus and says to him, Good Master, what must I do to inherit eternal life? And Jesus said to him, What does the law say? And he says, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy soul, with all thy strength, and love your neighbour as yourself. But we understand the lawyer doesn't leave it there. So let's read from Luke chapter 10 and verse 29. But he willing to justify himself said unto Jesus, And who is my neighbour? And Jesus answering said, A certain man went down from Jerusalem to Jericho and fell among thieves which stripped him of his raiment, and wounded him, and departed, leaving him half dead. And by chance there came a certain priest that way, and when he saw him, he passed by on the other side. And likewise a Levite, when he was at the place, came and looked at him, and passed by on the other side. But a certain Samaritan, as he journeyed, came where he was, and when he saw him, he had compassion on him, and went to him, and bound up his wounds, pouring in oil and wine, and set him on his own beast, and brought him to an inn, and took care of him. And on the morrow, as he departed, he took out two pence, and gave them to a, the host, and said unto him, Take care of him. And whatsoever thou spendest more, when I come again, I will repay thee. Which now of these three thinkest thou was neighbour unto him that fell among the thieves? And he said unto him, He that showed mercy on him. Then said Jesus unto him, Go thou and do likewise. Very simple. And I've heard that so many times. 
And if we only looked at the last bit, go and do thou likewise, we'd turn around and say, oh, the whole point is that you've got to do good to people. But there is something in there that suddenly catches our attention. You see, one of the great problems with every version of the Bible is it translates certain things which it never should. And it trans translates two pence, two denarion. Uh, but what's a denarion? Well, I can tell you there are four denarion to a shekel. Two denarion, therefore, is half a shekel. And when I see half a shekel, immediately it alerts me. There's something more in this parable than meets the eye. Do you know what that is? Well, I trust you're going to watch the rest of the sessions so you might fully understand what Jesus is talking about when he says he gives to the innkeeper half a shekel. Think on it. And we'll see you next time. God bless.